Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? Professional here. Welcome back to my next part of Sleeping Dogs. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. A very underrated game, one of the best open world games that I've ever played. And if you guys are enjoying this series, please do drop a like on the series because it does help the series out a lot. But anyways, let's continue from where we left off right here. Are you shitting me? So what'd you do? Nothing, nothing. Say mut the mole. I came straight to you. Didn't want to start anything major but without you knowing, you know? So get this. A couple years ago, this guy Ming came to me and asked me to look out for him while he did business. Special K mostly, but other stuff too. I thought, why not? I'd take a nice little cut for my boys, no problem. But this week, I send Jackie here to pick up the envelope and he tells my boy to fuck off. Apparently, he's friends with Dog Eyes now, so we can all go fuck ourselves. You want me to make an example out of Dog Eyes? That home Garton is gonna get what's coming in. Right now, I need someone to take care of me. No! So, um... Mink is a... And make sure you get this statue here. A lot of people miss that. So, um, uh, Ming is, um, uh, a drug dealer that, um, came to Winston for protection. And, um, what happened was, um, he ended up screwing Winston over and is now, um, uh, dealing drugs for Dog Eyes, who's Winston's, um, former friend and rival now. So you actually have a phone in this game, too. Uh... Okay. I don't think I can do anything with the phone right now. Yeah, I don't have any contacts I can call right now, but yeah, there is a phone in this game also. Um, okay, let's see if we can find Mink here. I'm starving. Watch out. Some of these vendors you can actually go up to and buy certain things to your apartment, um, which is actually kind of cool. Come on, let me show you around. I'm looking for Ming. You know where he's at? Yeah, he just passed the food stand around the corner. Confront Ming. Oh, this is gonna be good. You make it up for me tonight, and we got a deal. Huh? What are you going to do? Me! I got a message oh, for you! Stop! So, this is another chase sequence, and remember, the chase asshole. sequences are really good in, um, uh, in, uh, in Sleeping Dogs. I like how the stuff on the counter also gets knocked down as you vault over it. That's pretty cool. Ow. Guys, I need your help! Kill him! He needs to be killed! And now we're gonna beat the crap out of these guys. Wow, come to me higher! Fucking bitch! Oh, 
！哇！哇！你睇唔睇到啊？哇！Coming for you, Mink. Leave me alone, you fuck! It's one of Winston's wow, guys. Take him out. Get him out of the way. Fuck you up. So now, when you deal with an enemy that has a knife, it gets a little bit harder. Gotta wait till Ming attacks us. And this guy's strong. There we go, he's done. Dog guys gonna kill you. Fuck dog guys. Winston owns this area. You fuck with us and you regret it. Okay, okay. But please, make sure dog guys doesn't kill me. Oh. Fuck. Hey, hey, watch it. So Wei gets arrested again. I did pretty good in that fighting. Wei Sheng? I haven't lost my touch. I'm Inspector Tang. You have quite a rap sheet here. Multiple arrests in San Francisco, alleged ties to organized crime. And now you're here, enforcing for the Sun on Yi. You know, you don't have to throw your life away like this. <laughs> your concern's really moving. Yeah, I appreciate that. I'm suddenly realizing I should have never dropped out of art school. I could have made it. I could have been a real somebody. Thank you for showing me the light, officer. I want to give you a chance, Shen, but you have to work with me. Then maybe I can cut you a deal. Wei does a really good um, job of playing a gangster. I'm in the middle of an interrogation. Inspector, there's been a misunderstanding. A misunderstanding, sir? As your superior officer, I'm instructing you to release this man. But sir, I have it on record that he's son on Yi. I understand that. I can't simply just cut him loose. I mean, you're asking me to release a criminal with known connections to the triad. And not only is it against protocol... Well, for God's protocols, sake, Tang, he's one of us. What? Jesus, Pendrew, let me get the door. There are a few badges outside who didn't hear you. It's all right, Wei. We can trust her. Trust her? I just met her. Congratulations, Tang, so now you know. Maybe now we can make sure that we're helping Wei, not making his job harder than it already is, hmm? Yeah, it doesn't seem like I have much of a choice. No, no, you don't. Now see yourself out. Permission to speak freely. Denied. You need to be more careful, Wei. Much more careful. I can't bail you out like this again. Sir, I don't want to hear it. Just be careful. So this is um uh, this is our apartment here now. You get a bunch of safe houses in the game. As you move up through the Sun on Yi, you get better safe houses. Eventually you get a penthouse, which is kinda cool. American gangs and Asian ones don't compare to the clients. I don't like this cocky little fucker. You need to be more careful, Way. Much more careful. He has several of these nightmares throughout the game, and they're actually really well done. They're, it, when you get the specific events in the game, he has nightmares about them. There's a lot of really dark moments in this game. If I was to compare this game to the atmosphere of any other game that I've played, I would say it's GTA 4.
Even though this game is very different in GTA 4 in gameplay, the atmosphere, like the dark criminal underworld, I would say is very similar to this one. It's much more serious, for instance, than like GTA 5 story, um, has a lot more darker moments. So anyways, this is Way's apartment, and um, uh, yeah, you can sleep, um, it advances time a little bit, um, okay, here you can, you can access the wardrobe. Let's put on Way's jacket here, um, again. Okay. And for people wondering why um, Pendrew is um, uh, there, Pendrew, who he's British, it's because Hong Kong used to be a British um, colony, but then it was given back over to um, uh, uh, the Chinese government in the 1990s, I believe. And it was, um, uh, the deal was that Hong Kong was to kind of remain independent with, you know, its own government and free elections, and the Chinese government was not supposed to interfere with that. But in recent years, they have been um, uh, violating that deal. And they've begun more authoritarian measures in Hong Kong. That's why there's a lot of protests. You have a kind here. So this is the parking garage. Um, I'd say this is kind of similar to Saints Row, um, in a way. You can just store vehicles here. You can, you know, bring them out whenever you want. Probably should turn off the um, the radio. Which designer label makes men's jackets from? So when people first see this game, they think that there's no cars in this game, that it's just a running around game, kind of like Yakuza, but it's, um, no, there's vehicles, just the first few missions have no vehicles. Um. Oh, what is this here? Tea, okay. And you gotta sell. Will not sway because I'm watching. I wish. You're going to need more than herbal medicine to make that happen. Okay, so this is the map. This is Hong Kong. Um, uh, this is what uh, Hong Kong looks like on the map. Let me know in the comments down below if any of you guys ever visited Hong Kong or live in Hong Kong. How accurate is this game to like the um, the real life Hong Kong map? Um, but um, uh, here we have like um, we have like favors that we can do. Um, they're favors for like vendors and stuff like that, and and you unlock certain things with these um uh with these vendors. Um. A quiet drive, um, okay. Is Orfe aux Enfers, otherwise known as Orpheus in the Un- Okay, there we go, you gotta hold down left on the D-pad. That's how you, um, uh, that is how you, uh, turn off the radio. And also, um, I'll tell you something, when I started playing this game, I had to get used to the driving. Um, uh, not that there's anything really wrong with the driving, but the thing is, though, is that, um, uh, the, uh, the drive, if you notice, you drive on the left, on the left side of the road in Hong Kong, which is realistic. In Hong Kong, they do drive on the left side of the road, where in America, in my country, you drive on the right side of the road, so that kind of messed me up at times. What is this here? Brand new bed. Okay, we'll purchase this. So these are like the things that you can purchase to your apartment. Like needs a good bed, I could help with that. Make sure your nights are as relaxing as possible. I'd love to serve you, but you need to be able to afford me. Uh, it. I mean it. Uh. Okay. How much money do I? I. I guess I don't. I guess I don't have enough money then. Oh no, I don't have enough money. Yep, I don't. Okay. What do you want? Uh, Mrs. Chu suggested I talk to you. Is she a friend of mine? I need a favor. What do you need? My husband is in the hospital and I can't pay the bills. The only thing we have of any value is our car. You want to sell it? No, I, I, I want you to run it in the harbor. Our insurance is really good. <laughs> okay. So these are like vendors that will like, um, you know, ask you for favors and like, you know, sometimes like beat somebody up, steal a car, pull a scam, like in this case it's a scam. You want good clothes for less? I got special deals. Hey, sexy oh look, man, we found we found the money we needed to buy the bed. Let me dress you. Okay, let's buy the bed then now. Hey buddy, got some good stuff oh, I guess I can't do it during a mission then, okay. We'll come back to that. 
And so Wei, even though Wei is a cop, he's a very different kind of cop. He will do anything, um, uh, anything in his power to bring down the triads. So if he has to kill somebody, he's gonna do it. If he has to, um, uh, if he has to commit crimes, he's gonna do it. He's very different than, like, Raymond, for instance, who's, like, a very bureaucratic by the book officer. So here you pull an insurance scam. Oops, sorry, I've had there. Okay. Okay, we got that done. Favor completed. Now we got some money for it, too. Okay, let's try to get out of here now. So this is the chop shop. You can do a few missions here later on, but um, uh, there's a main story mission here right now, so let's do it. Wait, you okay, man? You look like someone took a shit on your face. <laughs> Jackie, I'm... You know, I'm just a little frustrated, stuck being Winston's errand boy. You know, I was making serious bank back in the States. Come on, we're just paying our dues. Winston's a loyal guy, he'll hook us up when the time's right. You can't always wait for the world to hand you what you want. Sometimes, you gotta just take it. Totally, man. It's time to take a little initiative. We gotta prove ourselves to Winston and the Sun on Yi, or we'll never move up. Is there anything going down in the next few days? Shit, yeah, there is! Dog Eyes has a big shipment of stolen goods coming in. Well, it's good for Dog Eyes, but that might be too much too fast. The last thing I need right now is taking a sticky red pole up my it's ass. It's not like that. It's a small deal. Word is there's only a few low-level London. You're looking after it. If we boost that shit and give Winston a nice fat cut, he's going to be mad impressed. No way he doesn't promote us after that. You'd have to be certain it couldn't be traced back to Winston. Or us. Sure, of course. They're never going to know it was us. Unless we get caught. Well, we won't unless you fuck it up. <laughs> Come on, get in. Time to move up in the world. <laughs> Where'd you get the van? My uncle's a chop shop around the corner. Call it a pre-stolen ride. I'm thinking I'm gonna get a steady girlfriend. <laughs> oh yeah? What do you think it's you, May? You're not worried that she doesn't want to talk to you? Hell no. If I let that stop me, I'd never ask anybody out. What about you? You ever think of finding somebody? <laughs> a relationship. Uh, wouldn't really work with my life right now. Sure it could. Look at me. <laughs> You're one of a kind, Jackie. W what's all the crap in the back? The haul from my last score, baby. Haul? Oh, what haul? Tires, CRT monitors, a whole bunch of stuff. Who put on his mask? Can't let Dog Eyes boys know it was us. There should only be a few guards. With over 60 years of experience shipping valuables all over the world, our reputation for reliability. So this is actually a little bit realistic because um, uh, in order to move up in, in a lot of organized gangs, mafias around the world, doesn't matter if you know who they are, triads, Italian mafia, Russian mafia, the low-level gangsters oftentimes have to pull some kind of big score to impress the boss to move up. But at the same time, is this has the potential to backfire really badly because if they trace it back to them, it's going to be really, really bad. Time to recycle some gangsters. Ooh. It just makes the game so easy when you do those finishers on them. Oh, one of them's got a crowbar. Okay. This is gonna be a bit um, harder now. There's more of them! Oh, 
Well, that was shocking. Oh, more of them. So you can pick up the melee weapon sometimes in combat, as you guys saw, I just did right there. Watch should be in the warehouse, man. Shit, you're taking off the good. Go, 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 man. So now we gotta get the van. Oh, looks like it crashed. Okay. And that van has fast acceleration. There we go, nice. Big boost? A shipment of cheap watches? What? What do you mean cheap? Jackie, he's a fake as fuck. <laughs> they stole a bunch of counterfeit Rolexes. Wait, that was their main score. <laughs> I'm gonna try to lose the cops here now. Man, they're catching up quickly. There's a shrine here, okay. What do you think will happen with dog eyes? I don't know. He's an asshole, fucking guy. But he 
has friends in high places. Hey, he's a piece of shit. Don't be afraid of him. Man, wait, you just got back. Get to know who's who before you start talking about bosses that way. Listen, comes a time you gotta stand up to guys like that no matter who's back in there. We'll cause the bad blood. Oh, I gotta, I, I should turn down the, uh, the, uh, vo the, the music is just much louder than the, okay. That's better. They used to be tight, though. Hard to believe dog guys would turn on a friend like that. He always was a shit. Even when we were kids. So where's this guy we're meeting? Don't worry. I'll take you from here. You sure you don't want me to stick around? No, man. I got it under control. So no, uh... All right. Your deal. Hey, wait. You did good out there. Here, take this watch. You earned it. Great, I finally hit the big time. A fake Rolex, yeah. <laughs> so there we go, we finally um, unlocked our first triad upgrade. Let's see, extra damage for all striking attacks. To... I'd rather do more damage. So um uh this is um uh we, we find these statues around the world and then we can return it back to the master um uh that's at the um uh that's at the melee training place I'm trying to remember what it was called but um uh you meet up with him and um uh, and uh, he will help you learn new moves when you return his statues so I guess we'll wrap it up here guys um uh. Before we leave off here, I wanted to show you guys the new bed that I purchased to the apartment. So, makes the apartment look a little bit better. And you can purchase other furniture along the way. And I'll keep checking the, um, the market to try to find all the furniture that I can. So, we'll leave it off here. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this part. I'll see you on the next one. Take care, everyone.